Hi, I'm Pakeda12 and this is the first tutorial exclusively for you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me. I really appreciate. I feel lucky to have you as my Patreon. So today we play with something nice. I like to call this uh, infinite grid since we'll be able to, to get as many splits as we want and uh, we can go crazy with this and achieve some nice results. So let's uh, dive in and uh, we don't need the uh, uh, default files okay and uh, let's start with uh, constant chop and uh, we set the resolution to 1024 okay now we grab a uh, noise top okay and uh, let's use this uh, resolution for our noise okay this noise should be 32 mono and um, yeah we're good to go let's uh, have a null here and this will uh, be our uh, output okay and here we'll insert a null in order to make a folder right and uh, inside here we need to make some operation and uh, okay we need to resize this texture right here so many times um, and uh, we composite the results and we'll get those uh, uh, floors this um, um, square um, region okay how we do this uh, so let's have a null here okay and uh, let's disconnect this okay after this null let's have a resolution okay and uh, we go for half of the size and uh, also go here with the nearest pixel okay and now we notice the resolution it's uh, half right so if we keep going with this uh, 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 resolution uh, uh, chain we eventually get to uh, two pixel by two pixel okay in um, in how many um, steps so yeah in nine maybe okay so let's copy past this couple of times so control c control v okay and uh, let's go here and uh, chain them okay and let's see we'll we'll notice in the uh, display here you see how pixelated it gets okay so we're almost there we only need uh, two of this or maybe only one yeah we're good now and uh, from here we need a composite okay and let's select all of this right and now with uh, middle button we drag uh, a line and uh, we'll have all in ones okay and now this let's say it has to be input one fixed layer okay to have the 1024 resolution and also nearest pixels okay and uh, from here we go uh, in this out okay uh, the only thing we need here in composite the operation should be minimum okay okay now we get this which right now is not so nice but uh, yeah let's let's see how we we color uh, this texture so let's grab a noise okay also with this resolution okay we need this to be 32 rgb Okay, and uh, yeah, color maybe. And now we connect this uh, 
to the second uh, input of the noise and uh, we get some some colors okay now if we change the parameters for the input noise okay let's go in transform and uh, for the scale we go with 0 0.2 okay and 0 0.2 Okay, and let's have this uh, play abs time dot seconds divided by 20. Okay, now, yeah, we we good. I would like to have a uh, different colors and uh, what uh, I will do now, it's uh, actually the normalization of the those um, uh, values um, as uh, they was they were uh, vectors so uh, we do this with uh, math okay and uh, it's a uh, square add root mask the alpha and here we need the 32 mono okay and here we insert a composite okay and in the composite transform tab we choose input one for fixed layer and operation should be divide and now we have these uh, nice colors and uh, to make sure that we'll not get any uh, minus value which in terms of color um, you'll get black so we go here with um, matte okay and uh, here we say positive okay now we only get uh, true colors right and we can play with these uh, uh, parameters as you want and uh, you will achieve some some strange looking uh, uh, effects and um, yeah this is uh, the way I did the the infinite grid let's uh, let's say it like this and um, yeah i really hope you like this uh, trick and uh, thank you once again and see you in the next one bye